Singing. It's time for TV on the radio with Hamish Coleman Ross. That's me. From stuff.co.nz. Stuff.co.nz now, yes. Yeah. That's, where, that's where I'm spending my days now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more interesting. Yes, yeah, so you, you run, um, just very briefly, you, so you, you're doing the video side of things on Yes, on stuff. video producer for stuff.co.nz. Right. And there you go. And of course, that's Auckland, Auckland based. Yes, so there's various people based. around the country, or yeah, they've got um, they've got some people in Wellington that do it, and then there's another guy that does a lot in Christchurch because, um, well, as we know, Christchurch is a pretty scary place, so there's a lot of breaking news in mm. Christchurch. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Christchurch. <laughs> does anyone in Christchurch listen to the show? Yeah, do they? Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, good for them. <laughs> you know, very very interesting town, Christchurch. Uh, well, my, do you know I, this is true? I had um, two. I've got two ancestors um, in the 1880s that were mayors of Christchurch. Really? Yeah, back when it was a good town. 1880s, man. Yeah. I just want to say when I did that intro, saying your own name's a bit weird. Hey, Mr. Scott, with Ross. It just doesn't. Do you want me to say it for you? Like there you this? Go. Oh, I don't know. We're not on the rock, are we? No. No. Um, what's going on in TV this week? Oh my goodness. Um, you know it's. There's a lot going on, and it's all kind of interrelated, um, and I'm, it's very interesting, so I just wanted to take us through, and I think the most interesting thing at the moment is the profit drop at TVNZ. You know, we all know that more people are going online. We know that advertisers aren't spending the same amount of money, and let's be honest, making good TV shows is all about selling adver ad advertisements. You know, that's what it's all about. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, yes. It's not... Always an art form, you know. Maybe yes, with HBO, or AMC, TNT, you know, and these are these are overseas network channels that people do actually pay for. Yeah. But here in New Zealand, we haven't quite got to that yet. Yeah, we pay for Sky, but we only pay for it because we've got this fascination with sport, or we really feel the need to have movies twenty four seven because we're too lazy to walk to the many copious amounts of video easies, which, by the way, are finding it hard too. Yeah. Thanks to uh, internet Such a chip. technology. Sky's got a good gig going on there. They do, mate. They make some great money out of it, actually. Yeah. Um, so this time last year, TVNZ was making something like $18.6 million in profit, which wasn't bad. Not Again, not as much as they used to, but $18.6 still a lot to play with. Now it's somewhere around $8.6 million. Mm, that's a significant in drop. In, yeah. Massive drop. You know, we're talking about $10 million bucks just not there to play with. Mm. So... Everything is, is um, apparently under review. Everything is potentially for the axe. Now, I think that's a bit of a tabloidish headline. You know, it's all for the axe. Yeah. It basically, it's like, if it's not working, man, you know, we're going we're gonna to move it on. And, and also, too, I think it makes the shows have to be more relevant. It, it does make people have to work a little harder. I hope that it means they work a little better, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Um, you know, so, I mean, we're not going to see shows, again, like Dancing with the Stars or Boo Hoo, but things like Might Attend Dream Home, which, although it's not my cup of tea, was a really inoffensive show and, you know, was about, you know, people building their dream house. And I think Biden's Into the Kiwi Dream and things like this. Wheel of Fortune, a seemingly cheap show to make, you would mm. think. You know, studio audience, film about three of them in a day and then rock them out for however many weeks and just film them in u units. You know, the, these shows are gone, so you've got to ask, what do you start getting yourself down to? Yeah, yeah. Well, what, well I mean, what, what, is, what is TVNZ currently making themselves, uh, apart from TVNZ 6 and 7, but on, on TV1, what, what are they currently producing themselves? Well, we have breakfast in the mornings, of course. Um, well, there's the news, news and information. We've got, we got the news and the current affairs and stuff, and I, you know, that really makes up most of the schedule now. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're, again, though, TVNZ is having huge um, amounts of um, success with MasterChef and The Apprentice as well. Yeah, no, so, yeah, um, if I tuned into TV2, for, I think, for the first time in years uh, to watch Congratulations. The, the Did they welcome you back? <laughs> well, it, it's, it was strangely familiar. Strangely familiar. Yeah. Yes. I'm not sure it's quite my, targeted, targeted at me. Although some of the programs are targeted at me, but I watch them online anyway. Exactly. Um, but The but, Apprentice, what did yeah. we think? Terry Serapisos, that's how you say his name. He's not a natural, no. I don't think, in that role. But but he's maybe the best that we've got because we couldn't get Bob Jones. So I think a lot of people said no to it because you've got to ask yourself, what's in it for you? I mean, you're probably not going to make all that much money from doing it. I've mm. just told you they haven't got any. Um, you know, so it's it's got to appeal to that vanity. You know, it's got to, it's got to appeal to some other part of you. Um, and yeah, it's Terry's also the younger guy. It's also that that awkward Kiwi thing where at least one you know at least one person who's competing in it. Oh, and, and who who do you know? Um, um, oh, I'm going to mind blank. Uh, Dave Dave White. Dave, Dave White. White. Yeah, yeah. Dave White. Now, is Dave White an, an interesting person in in day to day? Um, yeah. Well, yes. I mean, you know, he's he's um, he's a he's a definite he's a positive character. He's okay. Very positive. Um, um, I mean, he's, he, he does he, he does stuff on Wallace Chapman's show in the afternoon. He does the the Monday the Monday okay. joke, which is never funny, you know. <laughs> okay. 
Because when I watched The Apprentice, episode one, when I saw it rolling out there, it felt very bland. It felt very forced. Um, you know, people going, come on, guys, and clapping their hands. We've got to do this, and lots of knuckle punches and, you know, high fives and stuff. And I was like, hang on, what? I smell rat. Because, you know, really, I don't see people doing this a lot in mm. day-to-day. I mean, the people that do, we're usually sent to Australia. Uh, and, and people doing this kind of behaviour, I went, okay, right, this is being very heavily directed. Yeah. And I guess because the challenge that I saw in the first episode, which was running a sausage sizzle on in Auckland yeah. CBD, you know, this mm. was supposed to, that's in the Central Business District, Christchurch, if you're listening. I know you don't have one. Christchurch um, has one, come on. No, they don't. They just have the Avon and the hookers. That's it. Um, so they, they had this, this inner city challenge, and it, it just it didn't really work for me. I, I thought it was a bit cringe factor to have a, a, a sausage sizzle. People said, oh, it's so Kiwi, though. And I went, yeah, mm. is it, though? Mm. I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, I found it very bland. I thought Terry was actually very good in it, um, as far as, yeah, I thought he was kind of quite nice. But uh, no, didn't warm to any of the characters. But Won't be watching it yet. Maybe, maybe I was watching it because it's train wreck TV, you know? Yeah. You're kind of <laughs> seeing how, how bad it could possibly get. Well, then this leads me on to another show that started up recently, actually the same week as The Apprentice, um, The Ad Show on TVNZ7. Now, what an interesting idea to have for a show, and this is a spin-off of Media 7, Mm. TV and Z7, and it's all about advertising. Yes. So they have advertising heads come in, they have, you know, kind of quirky things, like um, on last night's show they had the poo geckos from the Contact Energy um, Were they actually in the studio? They had them in the studio. (laughs) The poo geckos were right there. How long do those birds live for, you got to wonder? Seven years. Seven years. Seven years in the wild, but in captivity they can live up to ten. They'll be all. They're, oh, I know. They're, they're elderly, Pookie. It was now. very. It was very. Um. It was very Sesame Street. You know, Nature Channel last night. Yeah. But it was on the Ad Show, and so it's it's hosted by um Hazel from um NBR, mm. and she NBR's National Business Review. It's the 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 boring business publication, um. But she's very very good at it. She she does a great job in what she writes about the advertising industry, and they've turned this into a TV show now. And it's yeah. very bright. It's very colourful. Simon Pounds in it as well, and yeah. as we know, he's very funny. Um, so it's a really great look. But I just thought, what an interesting time to have this show when advertising has become the crux of why so many things aren't happening or yeah. can't happen anymore, mm. you know, sponsorship dollar, whatever. Mm. So I just mm. thought it was a, it's an interesting watch. Definitely have a look. It's, yeah, I, I, saw, I saw the first program and I, I thought it was great, but I think the challenge will be to constantly make it, make it interesting to the, the person who has no interest in advertising, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Because like, the, 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 there's a risk of going a little bit inside ball and it being only interesting to people who are involved with advertising agencies. Um, so the the challenge, and I know that, and I know that, that, that that's the, that's what they're trying to do is to make it interesting to perhaps to the person who likes to vote for uh, the best and worst ads on Fair Go. Sure. Yeah. Well, they they had an interesting one in the last episode about um, are television ads louder. Yeah, well, you know when that, it's that, in, and, and that is a question that know, everybody yeah. wants to yeah. know. So as long as they can kind of find that relevance, yeah. rather than talking about, well, the cre- head creative at Sanchez has been swapped yeah. out by the uh, head creative from DDB, and they're yeah. off to uh, start up there. I mean, who cares? Yeah, you know, if you work in the industry, of course, it's really relevant information. But to general Joe Bo public, public, yeah, nobody cares. So the ad show, nine thirty, TVNZ seven, check cool. it out. Also, too, um, I don't know what it is in America. You know, like the rest of the world seems to be suffering, but Keith Sutherland got sick and had to have surgery or something, so they, they halted filming a bit of 24, but he's back now. It's okay. I'm happy to hear that. But Charlie Sheen has gone back into rehab. Yes. And um, they're, they're, they're having to postpone, you know, the production on Two and a Half Men. Not a, bad, you know, the, not a bad thing. Well, no, not a bad thing, because we're not a big fan of the show. But if I worked on that show, I would be damn pissy. You're right. I'd be absolutely pissed yeah. off that my, my head star had shut down production. Is he like the biggest paid? Yeah, paid something the like that. Bigger, or yeah, something? something like that. I mean, who who knows? But, you know, what's he doing? Just pissing it up against the wall. Yeah. And so he's gone back into rehab. The production's been shut down. He might not be back again. I don't know. But the biggest thing that happened in the last week in TV, where am I? Do tell. Tiger Woods. Hey, Tiger Woods. It's sport. No, he came on TV. It was broadcast live on on a channel everywhere in the world. It was huge. Oh man, I, when I hear the name now, apart from maybe playing it on on the computer, um, I, t- I switch off. It was huge. You can't switch off from that. He stood in front of those blue curtains. He looked like he was going to do a little magic show. He gave this big long winded speech. He mentioned Buddhism. 
As a result, the Dalai Lama <laughs> now knows who Tiger Woods is. He didn't beforehand. Yeah. And and uh, apparently they asked uh, the Dalai Lama because he's been in America and they said, you know, Tiger Woods was on TV and he was talking about blah blah. Um, you know, being a Buddhist, what do you think? And he didn't know who Tiger Woods was. I thought it's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. That's a good sign. Good on you, Dalai. Yeah, yeah. Loving hey, my Lama. Hamish Coleman Ross has just been talking TV with us. You can find his work uh, in the video section up at stuff.co.nz. Yes, and check us out for updates and interviews with the people who get voted off MasterChef and Apprentice. Choice. See you next time. Bye.